Hello, Vicky. Dorian? It's all right. You do not have to thank me. Was I supposed to? Someone had to deal with Echo de Savoy, so I decided to go right into the she lion's den. And <laughs> I was right. About, about what? She has been lying about your Charlie, or as she would like to say, her Charlie. Hovel, where she's been living, you know the expression roach motel? It doesn't begin to do it credit. You really shouldn't have gone there, Dorian. Well, she, she has known all along who Rex's real father was. And she was lying about it. She said it was Charlie so that she could just be close to Charlie. Well, I'm going to see to it. I am not going to rest until she is held accountable. I'm very sorry. I cannot deal with this now. Well, you have to, Vicky. No, Dorian, please. I mean it. Stop. Please. Oh, dear. You are very upset. Oh, what? What is it? Jessica is in such trouble. Oh. Tell me what's going on. I'm sure you heard what happened at the weddings, right? It was all too much for her, and one of her alters, Tess, has taken over. Oh, that is terrible. <gasps> yes, it is. Brody's gone to get her and, and, and bring her home, but God knows what he's going to find when he gets there. My poor baby, how much is one person supposed to endure? I mean, I heard that Clint changed the DNA results. How could he do such a thing to his own daughter? No wonder she was pushed over the edge. That's not all it was. There's more. What? Please tell me. It has to do with Natalie. Look, Dorian, I haven't um, said anything to Natalie about Jessica yet, because frankly, we don't even know the whole story. You're actually the first person I've told. Besides Charlie, of course. No, I haven't told Charlie. He's away. He was called away on an emergency at work. At work? I mean, I, I, I'm sure it was the last thing he wanted to deal with, but he had to go. Yes, of course, and he must have been terribly upset, uh, finding out about Rex. And it must have been a terrible shock for him. He was devastated. You know, he ran out of the church, and he was gone all night. I was afraid he'd ended up in a bar. So where was he all night? But at least he wasn't drinking, and that's the most important thing. There's one other important thing. Oh, I'm sorry. This is Jesse's doctor. I have to take Please. it. Please. Hello. Oh, Dr. Levin, thanks so much for getting back to me. Bad. I knew it. I knew it, Thank and you. now I can prove it. Thank you, Doctor. I know where Charlie spent the night and with whom. I'm sorry. Um, I had to take that. Perfectly all right, Vicky. I'm sorry, but there's something I have to tell you. Dorian, listen, uh, between Charlie and what's going on with my girls, I, 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 don't, I don't think I can handle anything else. So whatever you have to say, please, please, it has to wait, okay? It has to. I was just going to say that I heard about Joe getting married, and I know it was very sudden, but I hope that he's going to be very happy. Oh, well, at least somebody's happy. Your family has gone through more than its share of troubles, and I'm sorry about that. Thank you. I think with everything that's going on, it's absolutely unconscionable that you should be treated shabbily. Well, I'm not the injured party here, but it was nice of you to say that. Thank you. You are quite welcome. And I'll uh, leave you now, and um, I... 
I hope your family will be all right and, well, you just take good care of them the way you always do. You are nothing but a lying, husband stealing, watch stealing, dipsomaniac. I walked away from a child once. for this, Dorian. Just look at your watch. You know, Charlie's watch. What are you getting at? Back off, Echo. Vicky's got enough on her plate. If you're smart, you won't make it any worse. 